I don't know what I do. I don't know. <sighs> What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another video, honey. This time, we got some things I wanted to try, and we got some hot Cheetos. Went to Burger King, y'all. I don't know what you can see, y'all. Okay, so we got a fries. I got a Whopper, a bacon Whopper and cheese. And I wanted to try their fish sandwich. But here's, ow! So here's the catch. Child, I crunched up some hot Cheetos, child. I'm gonna put hot Cheetos on mine. And I like their zesty sauce. And I got ranch. So let's see. So how is everyone doing? What are you eating? I'm trying to eat before the kids get home, child. So I'm supposed to be making them something else to eat. You know, since I'm home, I don't know if you guys have seen my other video that I just posted on my main channel. I don't know. So, let me see if I can get this closer. Ugh. Oh, let me get my thumbnail. Ooh. Ooh. Bacon cheeseburger. Anyone? And a fish sandwich. I have a thing with getting fish from a hamburger spot. Okay. That don't even sound right. So, but I wanted to try it. So, if I don't like it, maybe the the kids will eat it. They'll be here soon. So let's see if I can get all this up in here. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. 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 It's good. Now I'm gonna sprinkle. Mmm, do a bite. Mmm. Mm. Yep. Let's see. That's kind of good. Let me try that again. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. That might be my new thing. Y'all gotta try that. Yo. Mm. 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 That's really, really good. Mm. 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 That's good, y'all. My onion ring. Mm. Uh. 
that's a french fry dipped in zesty sauce and uh chips the hot cheetos mm. Mmm. 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 Good. Okay. Okay. And I got Dr. Pepper. That is really, really good on the burger. All right. Let me try this fish sandwich. Y'all already know from a previous vlog, I like fish sticks, so. I probably like this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm going to get another bite. Mm. I think for Burger King, more than likely, I would stick with the Whopper. The Whopper. I'll stick with the burgers, not the fish sandwich. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. It's not, it's not bad, it just... It doesn't do it for me. Now, once in a blue moon, I do like a McDonald's fish sandwich. I don't know. I think the McDonald's have a little more flavor. But this Whopper right here, the bacon cheese Whopper, mm, good. Yes, with the um hot Cheetos. That would be really good. I can't even front on that. So anyway, I'm gonna fry that. You see everything? Mm. So. So I just posted a video on my main channel. It was emotional, so my eyes are probably puffy right now. So when I went to order my food, I was like, it missed stuff. I need a Burger King hat to perk me up. He was like, okay. <laughs> Woo, that hits the spot. I haven't eaten anything today and this will probably be my only meal. Child. So anyhow. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 That's what's up right there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Baby, you better try it. So anyway, I posted my video today. About me quitting my job. And how emotional it was leaving. 
I never experienced anything like that in my life. And I know what my main channel and this channel, I have some overlap of some, some subscribers. So I'll just attach a link to that video in the comment section below, in the description box below. But it was emotional. It was, oh, when that little girl sang me the song, that was it. I even, I can't even listen to the whole song. I just, I just start crying. She was my baby girl. Mm, mm, mm. If some of these kids are waiting to be adopted or to go into a temporary living situation, it's just various, various things. But they're just, some of the kids just touch your heart. Well, touch mine. So, but I gotta try to, try to heal and I hope they don't forget about me. Look, I don't wanna start crying again. So, I'm going to another school. But I won't have my own classroom. I don't think so. So I'll be working with small group if they need um, individualized attention on, I don't know, let's just say discovering the main idea. If they need help knowing how to do that, then I would be there for that. So there are certain things that the students should know every year. And so if they are not showing mastery in that skill, then I would go in as an interventionist and, you know, show them how to, I guess, do certain things. Some people work better in a small group than a whole big class. You know, everybody learns differently. Some people can do their work and listen to music at the same time. I can't. My brain doesn't work like that. That would be a big distraction for me. So, my son, he could do that. I guess that's just the way some brains work. Mine doesn't work that way. Now, can you do that? Can you do homework, study? write a paper and listen to music at the same time? Let me know if your brain works like that. Child, I'm starting to pop my fingers and do my little dance, honey. I'll be thrown all off. <laughs> mm -mm. So, for me, I would be understanding of kids who work like that. Hey, if that's the way you work, who am I to say, no, don't do that, but you better listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> so, I'm just going to move on. Hope they don't forget me. I'll never forget them. And start my new journey. Like I said before in my video, I believe everything happens for a reason. Sometimes these things are sad. So, with that said, I will probably go into special education. I'll probably study for that. No, I'll really study for that one. <laughs> and I did pass, but people will ask me, uh, about my last exam, my English as a second language, my ESL exam, <laughs> that five hour test. <laughs> After three hours, I was done. My head was hurting. So I got my results um, last week and I passed. Let me show you my receipts, boo. Right here. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> and it was what it was.
with a decent score and not study for a couple of hours, which is irresponsible, don't do that. You have to study, study. <laughs> don't do what I did, please. <laughs> because what happened, I was going through so much with my life that I almost just didn't take the test because I hadn't studied. But listen to that little conscious about behind my ear. Some said, Joy, just go ahead and take it. At least you'll get a feel for what the exam is going to be like. And when I left the test, I didn't feel like I didn't know nothing. I was like, I don't know. So I was like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> But when the results came back, I want to say the passing score was 200, 230, 230 or 240. What my phone? Right? I took a picture, y'all. Passing score. So the passing score is 240. And I guess I'm like Bobby in this case. I would prefer even number. <laughs> so passing score is 240. I got a 269. I was like, why wow, they just couldn't give me the extra point and make it an even number, make it 270. <laughs> so 29 points higher, okay, honey? And the max you can score is 300. So I was shot 30 points, okay, for being perfect. Being perfect. <laughs> Ooh, child, hope I ain't getting in trouble. I still call her my principal, okay? She just called me. What'd she say? So that was my principal and she she just you know, I'll call her back in a minute and she said well what do you do with such and such to calm them down at school I don't know what I do to calm kids down I guess I guess it was making me want to cry because I hope she's okay because out of um the staff I can always calm this little girl down and when she would see me, she would run into my arms and I'm like, it's okay, come with me, just talk to me, you know, tell me what's the matter. And I would hug her. So she just asked me, what do I do to calm her down? So I hope she's not having a hard time. I don't know what I do. I don't know. I, I don't. I just hug her. I just love her. And it comes from the heart. So maybe people could feel that. That genuine love. Because if it's not there. It'll never come through. Ever. You know. Even if you're trying to pretend. People could feel your energy. So. And then it just breaks my heart that they say, you know, I still can't stay in touch with all the girls, do a book club or something like that. I mean, I would pay for a set of books out of my own pocket. But they were like, no. Like, you know, they're protected by CPS, so I, I, they have their rules and stuff. So, and then with my new job, they'll be home by the time I get out of school. So it's not even like I can you know run over there while they're at school and still do like maybe a 30 minute book club or something or just group chat so i don't know what i do i just i'm just me 
and with some things your energy and stuff just comes through to touch another soul i done lost my appetite sorry i don't know sometimes i wonder if i did the right thing but like i said before sometimes these kids leave and then i'm stuck there and all my babies done left so i, I have to find it a way to be okay with that so i feel like i'm going through a mourning stage especially because i'm totally cut off and who knows when when those kids will leave or if, or if this little girl will get adopted or she'll go back home I, I don't know i don't really know the kids situations sometimes i don't want to know i can ask but sometimes i don't want to know but um my poor baby girl and that motherly part just comes out of me i just want to hug her Anyway, that's why I think I'm going to go into special education because I think those kids need people who will genuinely care about them and want to protect them. I know one of my one of my girlfriends, I love her so much. I don't talk to her all the time. Um, her son has Down syndrome. Oh, and he is so cute. I He's getting bigger now, so I hadn't seen him in a while. Then I went over to the house. And I was like, he's probably not even going to want to come near me now. It's been so long. And child, you would think that I've never skipped a day with, with you know, seeing him. He was hugging. He gave me wet kisses, too. I was like, let's wipe that down a little bit. <laughs> and just hug me and stuff. And you know what she said? His mom said, she's, and she has four kids. And... She said that she feels as though God gave him to her because he will always, always be her baby. And she loves babies. And I think God only gives you as much as you can handle. And I miss him. I miss, you know, I miss baby. <laughs> I'll take it any form I can get it. <laughs> you know, my kids don't like me, you know, kissing and hugging on them. I do, but Clinton, he mm -mm. So sometimes I have to force Clint to give me hugs. <laughs> That's my 17 year old son. So yeah, that just, that just broke my heart. So let me call her back. And I told the, the behavior staff, I said, she can FaceTime me if she's having a hard time. Tell her she can FaceTime with me. I don't even know if they will allow that. I mean, you, the staff is right there. I mean, she, I know she would calm down soon as she heard my, anyway. <sighs> This is making my nerves bad. This is making my nerves bad. Alright guys. Like, comment, share. Subscribe. Hit the post notifications button so you know the next time I upload. Mm -hmm. Tired of crying. Alright, the kids are going to be home soon. I'm about to shoot another vlog. Catching them walking in the dough. I'm trying to get my, I know my eyes are puffy. All right. You're going to get the good, bad, and the ugly with me. All right. I love you. Until next time. Later.